what is up so it's your girl jabria milan and i am back with another video as you guys can tell by today's title we will be doing a wig install today's wig install is not a basic install it does have a style so if you like to know how to achieve these two fishtail braids stay tuned for the full video and if you want to know how to do your full install full reinstall install stay tuned for the rest of the video so as you guys can tell i am currently melting my cap so i'm giving you guys basically a little nice little ball cap method i like to go on with hd caps they are very seamless and tend to blend better than the natural nude caps i like to use glue when i am gluing my caps down because the spray you know that's too much alcohol to be putting on top of the hairline so i like to use the glue instead of the spray the holding spray i know some people like to use the holding spray but a lot of people don't know that also helps take out your edges which is another reason why I stopped using the spray. Now I'm gonna go ahead in and go ahead in with my makeup. So a lot of people like to use different stuff. Some people like liquid foundation, some people like concealer, some people like um, cream foundation. Everybody's choice is different. Use what works best for you or that's closest to your shade because everybody have a different skin tone. Some people have different undertones and it's hard to find color that match. So go with whatever works fine with you. Some people even like lace tint. I never use lace tint. I definitely wanna look into using lace tint but I just stick with what I know and what I'm used to, and that is the makeup. So now you are going to go in with the lace glue of your choice. I can't tell you what to use. You use whatever works for you because I might give you some suggestions and it might not work. Lace glue is very wishy-washy. It's hard to find stuff that work for everybody. Like some stuff work for some people. Some stuff don't work for some people. So use whatever glue you like to use. Whatever works fine for you, use it. So I'm just going to go ahead in and smooth out these layers. I'm going to probably do about three to four layers. So now you're going to go in and tack down all of that excess lace or you can cut it off. But I like to just tack it down because I like to reuse my wigs and stuff. So I like to keep on a little bit of that lace. But you can go ahead in and tack down your lace with some glue and just go ahead and blend it in with the rest of the hair.
Now I'm gonna go ahead in with my melting spray and I'm gonna tack down my melting spray. A lot of people use different stuff. Some people use actual melting spray. Some people use holding spray. Everybody's thing is different for what they like to use. Go ahead and use whatever works best for you or whatever you like to try out. Just try out different stuff to see what melts and works best for you. But I'm just gonna go ahead in and place that around my lace. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie down my lace. Sometimes I melt once, sometimes I melt twice. It all depends on how I feel about the lace. If the lace is more so on the thicker side, I go ahead and melt twice. But if the lace is really thin, I just go ahead and melt once. So now I'm just going to go ahead in and part out my hair in the way that I want it. And then I'm going to go ahead and hot comb each side. Whatever you do to one side, you always be sure to do to the other side. I'm just going to go ahead and hot comb. You can use either a wax stick or you can use heat protectant. Whatever you have is fine. It still gets the hair straight. So I'm going to go ahead and take that melt band off and the lace is given. The lace looks really good. So that's why it's always good to see what works best for you when it comes to melting because you get different outcomes. And always remember that it is lace. So regardless of how you melt it, how you look, what angle you do, you're going to see the lace. If you look up close, if you look far away, you're going to see it. It all just depends. So you always do what works best for you and what helps give you that natural look.
Now, on to the best part of the install, which is the baby hairs. I'm going to go ahead and part out my baby hairs. And they are really thick right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and pluck out some of that extra hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and just slick my baby hairs down. <music> On to the styling part of the install. So you want this area to be as flat as possible so you don't have to use as much products when you are doing your braids. So I like to go ahead and add a little more hot and heat from the hot comb to the hair to get it just as slick as possible.
so now for the braids you're going to just go ahead and braid it try not to braid it too tight because you want to be able to stretch out the braid so kind of braided loose but still tight it was a little bit hard for me to braid because i had on these nails but just go ahead and braid it normal as you would braid any other hair and make sure to not braid it as tight so when you go ahead and stretch out the braid it'll be as easy as possible without messing up the hair and how flat it is Now to fix up your part you're gonna go ahead and with whatever color you use to put on your cap you know your wig you're gonna go ahead and with that color some people like to use lighter colors to give it that more pop look that stand out more I like to just use the color that I use so it'll look as natural as possible and you're gonna go ahead and then just make your part straighter And here is the final install. I love this install so much. You guys, I ended up tacking the braids to the back because it did not look right with them just hanging down. So I ended up just tacking them to the back and tying them with a rubber band. This hairstyle would have been so cute if you put one of those big bows that everybody are wearing on the back of your hair. It would be so freaking cute. But the style came out super cute. The hair is a reinstall and look at the lace. The lace is definitely given. It looks really thin now that I melted it twice. And the hairstyle itself is so sleek and chic. It looks so cute. So if you guys want more hair install videos, be sure that you are staying tuned for the rest of my videos and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're hitting that post notification bell to be notified every single time i post a new video